trick-or-treat haul for the week. We hope you all are having a fabulous Saturday right. for a couple of things that we needed to look for in the tool section at the Dollar Tree. Because we knew we would find it there. Dollar Tree has been so awesome that way here lately. I did go into the school supplies stuff and so did mom. I actually mom's the one that dragged me in there. But she was really impressed with everything. And this was at our tiny little Dollar Tree down Dollar Tree store just down the just down the way, the one that's closest to my house. And um, she was really super impressed with, you know, everything. So, being that it was Friday and that's the day that they unload, they get their shipment in. Yes, I did talk to the Dollar Tree manager earlier in the week as she tells me when their shipment comes in and she let me know when it was a good now, time. Now, I did see this for the first time. It's the emoji decorative tape and I have been going cuckoo for the emojis this year. I love them. I love them. So anyway, it's a double pack. Mom actually brought these to my attention. These planners. They're planners. They're already... You know, I, I have been talking about putting together a DIY planner. I talked about it earlier in the summer. And I'm, I've been collecting things and kind of started working on it. But haven't really dug into it. Especially because... I want that planner that I'm going to do to be for the new year. So I don't know when I'll do the video on that particular planner, but it will be before the end of this year. Okay. So, but I did pick this up. I mean, I grabbed it for mom. I love the peace sign and the daisies and, you know, all the hippie style, anything hippie style decor and emojis are my favorites right now so and it does say it's a student planner for 2016 and 2017 so it takes you throughout the whole year isn't this awesome i picked this up to keep myself organized and that includes see it starts in august we're in august and um oh by the way august 2nd that that was my birthday that's why i i'm claiming august the entire month as my birthday month. I have some fun videos coming up in that uh, subject, birthday stuff. And I'll insert an overview right in here. Then, mom got this one. It's the same thing, student planner. LOL BFF. I think she got it for one of the grandkids. And it does, it has all the same things, and it starts this month, August. Let's see, and it takes you through all the way till July of 2017. So these are pretty, they're cute. They're, I like the size because you could take it with you, throw it in your handbag, your well, for me, my handbag, uh, obviously they made this easy for the students to throw in their backpacks. So, and they're super cute. Love, love, love them. Mom fell in love with this. This was one of hers. She let me haul a couple of her things. I had to because they're so cute. It's a two, th it's by Jot, the Jot brand, which is a Dollar Tree staple brand, I believe, because I find a lot of Jot brand in the Dollar Tree. And it's a cute, magnetized, tiny little calendar, and the little pages uh, flip up. And then it has this little notepad down there. Mom fell in love with it because the spoon and the pot, the veggies and tomatoes and stuff that you would cook with, she just fell in love with this. So I told her she better get, it was the last one there, and she, she was just ooing and aahing about it, and I said, Mom grab it because when we come back it's not going to be there and it also has the big great big magnet for the back you could just attach that to your fridge so yeah i thought it was super cute then she picked this up for her gift she has a gift box that she keeps you know buys cute stuff and it's just really pretty it's a friendship 
Friendship is a gift is what it says. Inside it has all these beautiful quotes. Positive friendship is love with understanding. And then, see this is what I, she liked about it. I should have looked at it closer before I started showing you. But it also has Bible scripture right next to the friendship quote. It's uh, John 15, 12 through 13. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than to lay down one's life for one's friends. That is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Look at that. I got to peek through. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just beautiful, and I'm glad she picked it up because this, too, was the only one left there in that aisle. I don't know if I got any video clips of it, but if I did, I'll insert it right here. But like I told her, I said, pick this up. Pick it up, huh, Mom, because it won't be there when we come back. We're always there because it's a neighbor. It's our neighborhood Dollar Tree. It's not far. It's small, and I'm always in there because I pick up groceries from there, too. So, mom picked this up for the boys, the grandkids. Even though school starting, our summertime is, we're in our last days, and I'm super sad about that part. Not about losing the summer heat because we're still going to have it here. Anyway, mom picked this up from the toy department, even though we didn't have any of the grandkids shopping with us last night. We still, we go through every single aisle when we're there. And she really liked this because Gavin loves bingo, but it also has addition and subtraction game in there, which helps, and it's from, it's an educational game from grades uh, one to two, and that's, Two of my grandkids are going into the second grade this year. But anyway, it's helpful. It refreshes their minds. And we're just trying to make it a fun thing because they do kind of don't want to do homework too much because they're at grandma's. But grandma's, we do like to help them with homework right after school. So that way they can just enjoy the rest of the evening, especially when moms come to pick them up. They can just enjoy it. So mom picked up another pad of the writing paper she's always picking this up it helps them practice their their writing skills so and then it has the alphabets in the inside of the right there so she got that got another pack of pens we buy these almost on a regular basis and they go they just go I don't know and that's what we got from the school supply stuff. I'm trying, I should try to make this faster, guys. I'm sorry. I can babble, babble, babble. The reason why we went to the Dollar Tree last night was for the two things. Mom's got a couple of, she loves working around the patio and outside. And she showed me the other day that my address, the thing that has my address is falling off. So, we went to go pick up some of this soft wire, which is really cool because it has three good size rolls, if you can see the width of it right there. And it's the Tool Bench hardware brand that Dollar Tree carries. It's a pack of three, still wire, 33 feet, 10 millimeters. So, it, there's, a, there's a lot of it in there for a dollar, guys, if you have to. And then she got, this was awesome, awesome. She was talking about needing a wire cutter and I'm like, well, we can finagle it with old pair of scissors because the wire's soft and thin, but you know, we still struggle. Ah, look what they had. Look what they had in the Dollar Tree. Wire snippers. That's something we did not have in our toolbox. So, and plus we need it right now, so yeah. This is the reason why we went to the Dollar Tree last night, guys. We had to go through the tool section. And what's super duper awesome is that they have everything. Oh, not everything, but, you know, almost anything you can think of, they have it there. I mean, we figured if, if they didn't have it at the Dollar Tree, we were going to take a drive out to Lowe's because that's the next closest uh, hardware store. Okay, now... Uh, da, 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 da. Some of the staples. 
This is not a staple. I did buy it before, but it's not a staple. I did a video and I'll insert it here on talcum powder because I use it for the chub rub. Yeah. Anyway, I have an alternative. It's, I can't really call it a DIY because it's one product, but since I've noticed that this does not have talc in it, so I believe it's safe. I'm going to look it up online as well. I'm going to try to do some more research, but back in the ingredients, it doesn't have talc in it. So I picked this up from a chub rub. Yep, it's for me, baby powder with cornstarch. And my video is taught what I'm talking about is just using pure cornstarch, which I also get from the Dollar Tree. But I thought, hey, let me try this. That way I don't have to transfer the box of cornstarch into it. And I'm using one of these as, you know, an empty one. I, I just popped the lid off and put the original. I'm going to insert the, see, I'm a, I'm a yapper. Sorry, guys. And then, yeah, every time we go to the Dollar Tree, they're just coming these trial sizes at the Dollar Tree. And we just keep picking it up because it's convenient and because we're right there. But pick this up because I've got another DIY video that I want to make, as well as this hydrogen peroxide. And the other DIY video includes both of these. So anyway, yeah, so we picked it. And this is a huge bottle, 32 fluid ounces of the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, into the foodie section. I'll go with the staple. Hannibal Top Ramen. He goes through this like crazy. And it is a lot cheaper at, to get this at the Dollar Tree. It's a five pack uh, for a dollar. I also go to the, I've done some hauls from the grocery outlet store. I've seen this in there for a dollar fifty nine. So I thought, oh, I'm not gonna touch yes. that. They're kind of small. It's 20, that's 24 count tortillas in there. But for me, you know, I always eyeball stuff. It looks bigger to me. Got the flour tortillas. It's also the El Portel brand. It says uh, 10 plus two free tortillas. So it's a dozen. Our dollar. And I got these Mexican cookies. There is a Mexican foodie section inside the Dollar Tree which has like all the dry seasonings that come in those little packages that we usually get at um, Biarta which is a Mexican grocery store here but they have it at the Dollar Tree and then they have like um, Mexican salsas, uh, enchilada sauces, uh, everything Mexican section and then even the cookies and stuff. And I and these are pretty good. I, this is the second time picking it up. It's just, you know, little cookies with a marshmallow and, and sprinkles of, um, I don't know if you can see it, coconut. Then for mom and me, but they melted. So plus I, we, I picked this up at the cash register. Snickers for me, Hershey with all them for her. I don't know what kind if that was a good deal or not, but they got melty and I'm taking advantage because the end of the summer, I've already told myself I'm gonna get on a healthy intake diet and lifestyle exercise as best as I can do with my injuries, which means I'm giving up most of my sugars and I'm giving up my soda pop. Ah, I'm gonna cry about the soda pop because I love it so much, but yeah. I'm making myself accountable by telling you guys about it because it's time. It's time to pay attention. So anyway, thanks for watching, friends. That's my haul. We'll see you next time. Toodles.